two students from the PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs have joined us for a conversation with Jamie about what it means to help young people reach their potential. I'd like to welcome Chloe Golan and Jasmine Cunningham to the NIDA conference and to the, to the stage. And please give them a huge round of applause. Um, so first, we, we have questions from the student reporting labs around the country. And this is the first question. It's from Texas about how America's education system compares to other countries. So. My name is Milani Cruz, and I'm a junior at Pflugerville High School in Pflugerville, Texas. My question for you is, if America was a participant on a TV show called The World Wants Talent, and you were a judge, how would you rate America's performance? I started writing the book not thinking about the TV show. That's a true story. Uh, I did not think about the America's Got Talent. Uh, I did watch the conclusion a few weeks ago, and um, uh, ended up addressing it in, in the book. You know, if I were a judge on that show, unfortunately, I would rank us somewhere in the middle. Right now, we are ranked 10th uh, in the world in the proportion of young people, people under the age of, of 35, who have a uh, post-high school degree or certificate. Uh, we were number one only a decade ago. So we have fallen behind in the international race for talent, and I think that we are going to have to do a much better job of getting not only back to where we were, but recognizing that the rest of the world actually got to that point because they were deliberate. They actually focused on talent development and deployment, and that's what we have to do in the United States. Now we have some questions about college and the role of education. My name is Joshua Kui, and I'm an eighth grade student at my Wana Intermediate School in Kahului, Hawaii. And my question for you is, do you think college will look different in the future? And so the system that we need should focus more on, you know, I like, I, I like to say we should turn it on its head. In the current system, you get 120 credit hours, you get the degree. So we should turn that system on its head and say, rather than accumulating time and having learning be the variable, you should accumulate learning and have time be the variable. And finally, our last video question is about what we can expect as a result of education. Hello, my name is Issa Bynum. I'm in 11th grade. I go to Suleiman High School in Suleiman, Maryland. And my question for you today is, is the American dream available for students today or is it out of reach? You know, I'm an optimist. I believe the American dream continues to be uh, within reach, but it's becoming increasingly difficult uh, to, to achieve because of all the issues that we've been talking about right now. Yeah. And uh, my view is that we actually need to have a plan a plan to actually help people achieve the American dream here in the second American century, the 21st century. And the way to do that is to talk about talent, what it's going to take to actually get to the higher level of talent, and working together collaboratively in communities, with teachers, uh, with, uh, with uh, business leaders, with people working in nonprofit organizations every day with students and their families to actually get to that higher level of talent. Okay. I think that's what it's going to take. And now my question is, what advice do you have for someone in middle school who is trying to identify new talents? Do you know someone in middle school who's looking to identify new talents? <laughs> um, um, I was telling Jasmine, my son is a year older. I recognize a lot of the uh, optimism and, and opportunity. Um, I would say uh, now is the time to explore, to use as much time as you have now to think about things that excite you, that make you, uh, that, that are interesting to you. Don't spend too much time worrying about whether you know enough about this subject or that subject, but be inquisitive, ask questions, explore, use your time to actually think about what do I want to do when I'm older. What can public media do to create new talent? So public media has an enormous role. It has the power to tell the stories in a way that, um, frankly, few other forms of media, even in our digital media era, uh, really can do. So telling the human story about talent, that's what I think we can do, using the power of public media to tell those stories, to enrich our understanding, and to use its capacity to reach new audiences, to reach audiences not just through the ways that it's doing today, but thinking about all the ways that it can use its influence tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much.